so i would say experiences then uh, focus on experiences then suspicion about structures and feeling based activism there is a zeal to do something but it's largely feeling based okay. so now there could be a lot more in postmodernism but these are three broad things i thought we could address does this resonate with your experience also broadly kind of people uh, you encounter i definitely yes feel those trends and thought for sure yeah that's true and um so where to start would would you like me to start with um i guess just some of our some of our discoveries with wisdom of the sages like what we've kind of um experienced yes with so people certainly. that we're connecting with yeah yeah so any of the people with any of these mindsets if uh, you encountered them and how you presented bhakti to them or what challenges they faced in accepting bhakti and how you dealt with those you could yeah, go that well, way also or you can you, know, you can go according to your thought flow well in one say? sense um the wisdom of the sages is a, is a dialogue between myself and raghunath and everyone yes. else is just listening right of course we do take questions once a week um and and they may get into these topics but um maybe what i would you know currently we have about 6000 people that listen per day to to wisdom of the sages so it's like 6000 people listening to bhagavatam and the interesting thing is um that so many of them had no prior experience it until very recently you know for instance a lot of people a lot of our listeners uh there was a huge spike in our listenership from people from the Joe Rogan show which is a popular podcast yeah. that has absolutely nothing to do with spirituality, spirituality yeah. or eastern spirituality or anything like that but Raghunath appeared on that spoke about Bhagavad Gita spoke about his journey in life and that brought that brought over a huge spike in our listenership so that means you're dealing with someone from scratch mm. and someone you know that is likely in one way or another uh, either a product of postmodern thinking or you know responding to postmodern thinking in some way so mm. it's a it's it's a big you know it's a big swath of of people um let, let, maybe let's start with the institution because that's yes, always yeah, that's an interesting think, topic, right? yeah, that's important yeah that's the first thing which i think we have to encounter immediately yeah yeah and, and you know my thoughts about institution have um, maybe they've developed a little bit since doing wisdom of the sages um it's occurred to me that well let me put it this way first of all raghunath and i we we speak openly say about iskan you know we we talk about it, we talk about our experiences growing up in it we don't speak in a cynical way although sometimes we look back at it in a humorous way or we may you know point out uh flaws or weaknesses that were there not so much with a with any kind of bitterness but just like uh as an observation you know again sometimes humorously and sometimes um to help us better understand how to how we might do things better hmm. but uh, we try to never do it with any kind of any kind of axe to grind or some kind of cynicism or anything like that but um we don't we what we definitely don't do is present um bhagavatam or krishna consciousness or the practice of bhakti as something that's dependent on a particular institution um that that mm -hmm. that you know you 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 need to become a member of this institution in order for this to work for you or something like that um and i think largely what we present is that the institution is there to bring us to the goal of the practice which is krishna prema right it's it's there to bring us to that stage where um from within the heart you know arises that that true nature of of love for god and that we feel that love for through through feeling for that root of all existence uh we feel it for you know every living entity who's like you could say a leaf on the on the trees of those of that existence you know for every living being we should feel that compassion or affection in some way and mm -hmm. that the institution is is designed to get you there you know it's not that you're meant to fall in love with the institution but that the institution is meant to facilitate your love for god and for every living being and um i think that can get lost you know uh, and maybe post my you know and maybe a presentation that is um not recognized that that is more institutionally directed more you know when the when the 
the attitude is how are we going to get these people into the institution how you know how how do we get more members of the institution if that's in the psyche of of the person that's presenting it perhaps the postmodern mind will not respond very well to it you know it'll be mm. sensed and it'll be understood and it'll be so uh, avoided a couple of things thank you bro for mentioning this sure if you're uh, so i also heard your podcasts uh, on your like your with john sages and uh, when in one sense what you are saying is that uh, you you made that nice category that either people are influenced by postmodernism or people are they are reacting to postmodernism also both both those kind of people might be there mm. and i am seeing that uh, there are quite a few people who are opposing postmodernism also quite aggressive opposition to there is mm. there to that so you are addressing both of those so we could say one one group may be very strongly a defender of the institution and the other could be like a very strong critic of the institution mm -hmm. but what you are doing is uh, you are avoiding both of these extremes by focusing on focusing just on the message of bhakti yeah so we'll try to keep it there yeah <laughs> trying true. to keep it there yes not and, only not it, honestly not only as a presentation but actually as well as like within our own lives and our own practice mm -hmm. you know in, in this day or this age of polarization you know um not that i try to be aloof to social concerns but i definitely try to avoid um being swayed by the emotion that you're talking about you know on, on either end 